preparation education department online education for english medium we are conducting online education for class 9 subject science and the topic which we are going to learn today is reflections of light in this we'll see all uh, the properties uh, light and its properties this is the first session and my name is ms bushra maksud ahmed and our channel order officer name is mrs almas let begins with the session so students today we will learn about the physics of light the physics of light in that what we will see we will see each and every scenario of what is light of how do we see the light why in the absence of light we are not able to see anything what are the properties of light what is reflection what is diffraction various properties all these things we are going to see in this session so let's begin now what is light now see students in this powerpoint presentation first we'll see properties of light second we'll see colors then third we'll see reflection in mirrors fourth we'll see refraction in lenses okay now see student properties of light what is the first property of light light travels in a straight line what is the first property students light always travel in which uh, students in a straight line in a straight direction now see there here is one demonstration see there is a laser beam when i on this laser beam we'll see what we'll see a light coming out which is straight line it is not criss cross it is not curve light always travel in which direction students it always travel in straight line direction okay now we'll see the next one see light next property is light faster than sound see first we have seen light travel in straight line what is the second property that light travels much faster than sound so with the help of the example you will see this see number first example thunder and lightning start at the same time but we will see the lightning first now see now it's a monsoon season coming right it's going on sorry monsoon season is going on and we see that thunders and lightnings are there right but can you students that first what we see we see the lightning first and after that we hear the sound of thunders right why because light travels faster than sound for reason first we see the lightning and then we hear the thunder voice okay we'll see the second example see here uh, there's one hand and uh, on which the pistol is fired right when starting a pistol is fired we see the smoke first and then hear the bang see when uh, someone uh, start the pistol uh, the pistol what we see, um, what we see we see what the smoke first and afterward we hear his bang voice why again the same one because light travels faster than sound okay so i hope this two properties we have understood number first light travels in a straight line second light travels faster than sound now students see <coughs> light travels very fast now how fast students about 3 lakh kilometer per second or 1 lakh 86000 miles per second how much fast travel students it travels 3 lakh kilometer per second in one second how much it, uh, it can travel 3 lakh kilometers or 1 lakh 86000 miles per second see at this speed light could travel the equivalent of 8 times around the world in one second in such a speed within one second how many time the light can travel eight times around the world see students so you can imagine how far how fast the light right? see over the world it can travel eight time within a second see so next property is light can create shadow shadows are formed when it is blocked 
you see when you are walking in a uh, in a noon time so you can see your shadow on the road right why you can why you see sh your shadows because light is blocked body and then shadow is created so when shadow is created when light is blocked by some substance see here i've taken one example see can you see the sun from this rays of lights are coming and there's one tree the rays are blocked by the tree and what is created students shadow is created so shadow uh, what who creates shadow light creates shadow if you will walk in the dark will you able to no no because there will be no light when there is light at that time only you can see your shadow it means that this is one property of light right light can create shadows see light travels in a wave disturbance that transfers energy from one place to another another now see what is wave i will explain you in the next slide but what is the main purpose of wave student wave is a disturbance that travels energy from one place to you will say me ma'am what is wave we don't understand let's see in the next slide see the characteristics what characteristics do light waves have see light waves are like other kind of waves they have trough wavelength frequency and speed now see what is wave light waves are the same as like of other kind of waves now what the waves consist of what is wave wave consists of crest crest means the upper curve of the wave a half curve the upper curve of the wave is known as crest then second is trough trough is the lower curve the next part of the wave that is known as trough what is wavelength the length of one crest and one trough together make one wavelength okay so the length of that complete one wave is known as wavelength then frequency frequency is what students numbers of waves in a unit time numbers of oscillation how many times one oscillation is one wave numbers of oscillation in one unit time that is known as frequency and then speed in how much speed it is traveling okay students so now you understand this wave see the light waves are like other kinds of wave they have crest they have trough wavelength frequency and speed however light waves are electromagnetic light wave have component that is electric and magnetic field they are electromagnetic why light wave is consist uh, is said to be electromagnetic because it has both the components that is electric also and magnetic also hence they are termed as electromagnetic waves always remember students lights are magnetic in nature now see we see things because they reflect light into our eyes why do we see some things students because we see things because they reflect light into our eyes see, this is literally the only way we get to see things all objects we see either creates light or reflect lights now see whatever things we are seeing can you able to see the things in the dark no if we are walking in a dark room where there is no light we are not able to see anything it shows what it shows that whenever an object is creating light or if, if it is reflecting then only we can able to see that object okay we are we can able to see that object only when student when it reflect or it creates light see there is one homework page like taken from sunlight see there is one rays coming from sun and this page is reflecting that light hence we are able to see that page okay student so whatever things we are seeing around either that is a source of light which is creating the light or it is reflecting the light hence only we can able to see that object this is clear to each and every one now we are going to see the next part see what is electromagnetic radiation now we are going to see what is electromagnetic radiation form of energy 
called as electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation comes from the sun and other sources. Where from this electromagnetic radiation comes, students? It comes from sun and some other sources. Travels at the speed of light. Electromagnetic radiation travels at the speed of light. Why? Because light is only is also a electromagnetic radiation. It is mostly invisible. Can we able to see the light? No, it is invisible, right? It's electromagnetic lights are radiations are invisible. Carries energy. It carries energy. It is a very important to society and is something you can't be without for many reasons. Can we live without light, students? No, die if light will not there. We will not able to get a food. We are not able to work anything. We are not able to do anything without light. So this is the one important, very important source because of if this will not be able to survive for a single minute. Okay. Now see what we have seen, students, right now till here. Properties of light summary. We have seen that light travels in a straight line and is a form of energy. Second, we have seen light travels much faster, a billion times faster than. Sound examples I have seen a firing pistol and thunder and lightning. Two examples we have seen. Third is we because they reflect light into our eyes. Four shadows are formed when light is blocked by an object. And fifth, visible light is only a small part of the electromagnetic radiation. The other parts are invisible to human eye necessary the eye of the other animals. See in electromagnetic radiation students, visible light sounds, uh, is a small part and there are some invisible lights also there which is not visible to human eye but that is visible to other animals also. Okay. Now second part in this PPT we are going to see students reflection mirrors. I hope this much you have understood very nicely. Now see, there are two types of reflection students, regular and diffuse reflection. See, the first figure shows about the regular reflection and second figure shows about the diffuse reflection. What is the difference between this? See, smooth shine surface have a regular reflection. When the surface is very smooth, can you see the white, uh, white mirror? So it is very shiny and very smooth surface. Hence, it is giving us a regular reflection. What is regular reflection? I'll explain you. Now see, rough dull surface have a different reflection. Now see, when they see the surface in the next uh, figure, you see this rough dull surface is there. Hence, what it is uh, showing a diffuse reflection. Diffuse reflection is when light is scattered in different directions. Now see, in regular deflection, whenever the angle of incident air is equal to angle of reflection. See, when the light comes straightly at the angle of 45 C, if it is coming in the angle uh, 45, exactly on the same angle of incident will be equal to angle of reflection. Hence, we can see in the smooth and shiny surface, we can get a regular reflection. The light is not scattered here and there, right? Whether uh, in the second case, see when there is a rough and dull surface, we see that the light is scattered here and there in different direction because uh, the surface is not smooth. It is very rough and dull. Hence, angle of incident is not equal to angle of reflection here. Hence, it is known as diffused reflection. Now see, we'll see draw to example. Do you know, do you know a student periscope using mirrors? We are you we made a periscope. I think in fifth or sixth standard, this there was one project for you to make a periscope. How it is, students, we just keep uh, in a box to mirror at 45 degree, right? And when we see things uh, above the surface, especially the periscopes are used in submarines, okay, to see the things above the water levels. So see how it works, the periscope, let's see. The light coming from the surface, see, can you see the rays? Again, I'm uh, playing it, how it, it is coming, see. Light is coming from surface, it is reflecting for first mirror, then reflecting for second mirror, and we can able to see the object on the above surface. This is using a mirror 
Why? Because this space, yeah, this surface of the is very shiny and smooth. Hence, we can get a regular reflection here and we can easily able to see the things above the surface. Now, second example and we are going, this is a periscope. Second example we are going to see using the mirror is a car headlights. Now see why the star headlight give us a so huge amount of light because there is reflection take place. There is a mirror behind the lamp. Now see how the reflection takes place. We see this is a mirror. This is your light in front of mirror in the headlights. Okay, in car headlights. How it works, see students. Okay, light is coming out from the bulb. Now it is getting reflected from mirror. And you can get a huge amount of light straight in a straight direction from a car headlight. You want to play me again to understand? See, this is your car headlight. This is bulb. See, light rays are coming out and then it is reflecting from the mirror. So you can get a huge amount of lights. Okay, students. Now we'll see the next one. Types of mirrors. There are types of mirror students. One is plain concave and convex mirror. Now see plain mirrors are flat. See usually the mirrors which we are which we are having at our home by saying that we, can, we are combing our hair, we are dressing up. So that is a plain mirror student, which, is, which is flat and make virtual images. The images is virtual because the images do not come from the image. They only appear to be. Okay. The, so the image which is formed in a plain mirror student, it is virtual image because whatever the image which we are seeing in the mirror, they are what their light are do not come from image. They appears to be. Now see this all things now so virtual image is open when when on this uh, there is one screen in screen if we are not able to see the image we are seeing the image in the mirror we are not seeing it on the screen hence that image comes as virtual image and when we see the image on the real screen at that time that is known as real image so hence we are uh, seeing here image in the mirror but not on the screen, hence this, it is termed as virtual image, okay? Now see, there are two types of mirror, convex mirror and concave mirror. See, the first, the first figure is a convex mirror. The sphere is silvered on the outside to form the reflective surface on the convex mirror. Silver, when the silvered part is on the outside, so that is known as convex mirror. The silver, when the silver part is silvered on the inside to form the reflecting surface on a concave mirror. Okay, whenever the silvered part is inside, you see inside the curve, the reflecting surface is inside the curve that is known as concave mirror. So the first photograph is, a, sorry, first picture is of convex mirror and second is of concave mirror. See, student, concave mirror are curved inside. What? They are curved inside. Just remember, to remember the convex mirror, what you have, you have to go into a cave. When you go into a cave, it's concave mirror. Okay, students, convex mirrors are mirrors that curve outside. They are bulgy. They are curved outside. They are silvered from outside. Hence, they are termed as students, convex mirrors. Convex mirrors are used for security purpose in cars, etc. They allow us to see a wide view. The image they make are virtual. See, convex mirrors are used on the rear glasses, right? Rear mirrors from where we see the vehicle which is coming from the behind. That rear glasses are made up of water. That mirror is mirror. These are used for security purpose in cars. Okay. Now we'll see the next. We'll see the review of the reflection. What we have seen right now. We have seen students. Two types of reflection. That is regular and diffused one. Second mirrors comes in three types. Plane, convex and concave. Okay students. Each R has a distinction size 
So first we have seen two types of reflection that is regular and diffuse. Second, we have seen three types of mirrors, plane mirror, concave mirror, and convex mirror. Okay. Now, mirrors can make virtual image or real image depending on their types. On their type, they made virtual image and real image. Light rays do not meet and image is always upright or right side up. And in real image, always upside down and are formed when light rays actually meet. When light rays actually meet, they are real image. When light rays do not meet, they are virtual images. Now we'll see what is student. I hope reflection you have understood very nicely. Now we are going to see refraction. Now see. Refraction is when waves speed up or slow down due to traveling in different medium. See, student, refraction occurs when rays are traveling from one medium to another medium, whether it is from rare medium to denser medium or denser medium to rare medium. So there is change in the speed of light, which sometimes the speed gets increased, and sometimes when it is entering from one medium to another medium, the speed gets decrease. The media is something that light waves will travel through. Okay. So light wave uh, they slow down by the water. See, student, we have seen that there is one example. Sorry. Sorry, there's some. Now, see, students, reflection. Yeah. Now, see, light rays are slowed down by the water, causes the ruler to look bent at the surface. The medium in this example are water and air. See, but we'll see one example here. See, there is one tub. There is one water and I have kept one ruler inside. So in the ruler, uh, in the water, we see that the ruler is bent little. Why we see that ruler is bent? Because students, whenever the light travels from rare medium to denser medium, its speed get decreased. And whenever it goes from rare to denser medium, it goes away from the normal. Hence, fourth, the ruler is bent. Okay, the degree that light bends when it enters a new medium is called the index of that reflection. See, at which, um, at the degree the light bends in the new medium. That is nothing but student, that is index of reflections. Okay, students. Now, see here, light, see, this is one. Uh, in standard ninth, you're going to have this experiment. See, you, you'll have this one glass slab, students. In glass slab, we'll see this uh, when light is coming from air to glass medium. So here, which is rare medium? Air will be the rare medium. What will be the denser medium, students? Denser medium will be the glass. So first, when light is coming at some angle from in the rare medium, it is going away from the normal when it enters to denser medium, right? And whenever from denser it is coming to, uh, it, it is coming to rare, uh, rare medium, it comes towards the normal. So whenever you'll see that light hitting at any, uh, at an angle is bent. But when light hitting straight, straight to the normal, it will not bend. It will pass in a straight direction. Whenever it bends in some angle, at that time only the light will bend. But when it travels straight from the normal, it will not bend. We will see straight light is coming in a straight direction. Okay, student? Now see here, student. Lenses works because of refraction. Light is bent as it enters a new medium. Now there is one, there are three types of lenses, plano, convex lens, double, um, see there are three or two types of lenses, convex lens students and concave lens. 
In convex lens, there are three types of convex lens. That is plano convex lens, double convex lens, and concavo convex lens. These are thicker in the medium and thinner on the edge. Can thicker in the medium, which may ah uh, in the middle part you see it is thick, and the upper parts are thin. Light rays needs to form a focal point. Makes real image since light rays comes together for from a light source, but can also make virtual image depicts using cameras, telescopes, and human eyes. See through this convex lenses, what this rays needs to form a focal point. Okay, now this all things in detail you are going to learn in a uh, standard nine. Okay, student. Because uh, if I take one topic in very detail, so this lecture will go very far away. So only the important, the basic concept which we are learning in this lecture, and in this convex lenses are used. Okay, these two are, are used in cameras. They are used in telescopes, and in our human eyes also. Which lenses are there? Convex lenses are there. Now, second type of lenses, students, concave lens. Can you see this concave lens, students? There are three types of concave lenses: plano concave lens, double concave lens, and convex so concave lens. Now, students, see convex concave lenses are thin in the middle and thicker on the edge. These concave students, they are thin in the middle. And they are thicker on the edges. Second, since light rays never meet with lens, they make virtual images only. In concave mirror, student, light rays never meets. They always diverge. They do not converge. Hence, they make always what students they make virtual images only. they are also used in cameras and telescopes to correct spherical aberration and also in eye glasses the eye glasses which we are using students so what is used concave mirrors are concave lenses are used in a eye glasses in your specs now review of refraction what are the things we have learned in reflection students see first what thing we have learned light rays slow down when they enters a new medium whenever light ray are entering in a denser medium it slow down reflection can cause light rays to change their direction whenever light rays are entering to the new medium what Uh, occurs refraction occurs and refraction occurs why because there is change in the direction of light. All transparent materials have their own index of refraction, right? All transparent medium. There are other either it be a uh, lens, uh, either it be a glass lamp, either be a square, either it be a prism. So every all transparent materials have their own index of reflection. Index of reflection. I have I have told you the angle the light rays bend in a medium that is termed in a index of refraction. Students, now see light is reflected when it is passed through a lens and they creates image. Now see students, this much we have seen right now. First we have seen properties of light. Then we have seen reflection in mirrors. Then we have seen what lenses? What are the types of lenses? And we have seen refraction in that lenses. Okay. Now the next part of our um, of our topic is what students we are going to learn about the colors. How do we see the colors? We see the colors. They are very colorful. Or we see it is only black and white. No, we see all the things around us are very colorful. So why we see that if a pencil is of red color? So why I see that pencil in red color only? Why I can't see in other color in a black color? 
if my, I'm wearing a dress of, of pink color, I will see that dress in pink color only. I will not see it in another color. So why we are able to see this color, how this color images are formed. We are going to see this. We can demonstrate this by, by splitting of light into a prism. See students, when light rays, see the white light is not a single color. It is made up of seven colors of rainbows. You see the rainbow students, rainbow made up of how many colors? It is made up of seven colors. And these seven colors are from a single, uh, from white light, which shows that this white light is consists of how many colors? Seven colors. We will demonstrate this by using a prism. When light ray, a mercury white light is passed from a prism, we will see seven numbers of light rays, seven colors of light coming out from that prism. Now see this students. See there's a prism and when we pass a mercury white light from a prism, what we will see students, we will see the seven colors, seven colors of light, which shows that this white light is consist of seven colors. This is how rainbows are formed. Sunrise is, sunlight is split up by raindrops. When there is a rainy season, rains are coming and the sun rays, which are split up by the, this raindrops, we are able to see the rainbows. Okay, students. So now you understood this white light is consists of seven colors. Now we will see the colors of the rainbow. You have to remember, students, Roy G. Biv. R O Y G B I V. Roy G. Biv. If you will remember this, you will be able to learn the order of the colors of this light. First, we will see red color. See R for red, O for orange, Y for yellow, G stand for green. B stands for blue, I stands for indigo, and V stands for violet. Okay, students? So, see, first color is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. To remember its order of the color, just remember Roy G. Biff. Okay? This much everyone understood? I hope my students are enjoying my sessions. Okay? Now let's go to the next, adding colors to lights. Now how the colors are added, we'll see this. White colors can be split up by making separate colors. These colors can be added together again. The primary colors of lights are red, blue, and green. See, there are three primary colors, students. Red, blue, and green. Using these three colors, we can make numbers of colors. See here, red, blue and green, these are primary colors. First, when we mix blue into red, we will get magenta purple color. By adding blue and green, we can see cyan, that is light blue color. By adding red and green, we are able to get which color student? Yellow color. And by adding all three primary colors, what we can see, if we add red, blue, and green, we will get white colors. Okay, we get a okay. Now see, I have told you now, if this, see, this is book is of red color. So we will get it red color only. See, the color on the object appears depend on the color of light is reflected. If the object is of red color, it will reflect red light only. Because... Our white light consists of seven colors. It is having that color in the light. So it will reflect that color only. See, for example, a red box only reflects red light. This is white light. This is red book and it is reflecting only red light. Okay, it will reflect only red light. See, there are two examples. In different colors of light, this shirt would 
of this red. See if red light is coming. Okay. And shirt is looking red because it is reflecting red light. This is red light. The shirt looks red. Shorts. The short will look black. If, if we are putting red light on a blue short. See, the short was blue. But when I put red light on it, what we will see? We will see shorts will look black. Because red and blue will make black. Now see, this is blue light. Here what we see, shorts will look blue. But shirt will look black. First it was looking red. And now it is looking black. Understood? So these are all, see here, the pair of purple trouser would reflect purple light and red and blue are purple it is made up of red and now see this purple color is made up of red and blue so it will reflect purple line it can reflect red also and it will have it will reflect blue line also see a white hat would reflect all seven colors hence it will see we will see only white hat now see using filters what are the filters? Filters can be used to block out different colors of light. When different colors of light are passing from filters, they block others' light and allow only the same color of light which is about to filter. Now see here is a red filter. So what light will be filtered? Shouldn't tell me. Only red light will filter. See in the lower magenta. In magenta, it consists of purple color, right? It's purple color and, and it is made up of and blue color. So it will filter only red, blue and magenta color. This much you understood? These are the filters. Now see, see all students, these are some examples, some further example. You have to do it by your own. Take a screenshot or take a photograph of this table and you have to fill this. First one example I will make you understand and the rest of will be. See students, object number first is the red socks. Color of the light is red, which we are inserting. When red light is incident on a red socks, the color of that object will seem to be a red. If I am inserting blue light, it will see like a black. When I am inserting green light on it, I will see it as a black. Now see, you have a blue teddy. When I am inserting it on a red color on it, it will show us black. When I will uh, insert in blue color, what it will see, students will see the teddy is in blue color only, right? Same here, you have to fill this uh, table. There is one green camel, green ca color camel toy, and we are inserting a red, blue, and green light on it. What are the color which we will see? Magenta book colors we will see. Okay, this all this, uh, this table you have to complete it. Now the second part we are going to see, student, that is reflection and now see students reflection and mirrors. Reflection from a mirror. Can you see the lower part that is a plane mirror? The surface of this mirror is plain. It is smooth and shiny. Can you see students the red light which is coming and blue light which is going away? The red one is what incident ray and the blue one is what it is reflected ray. So see students and this is normal normal to the plane mirror. This is known as normal. This is incident ray and this is reflected ray. This is known as angle of incident. The angle made by the incident ray and normal are known as angle of incident. And this is known as angle of reflection. Angle made by normal and reflected rays are known as angle of reflection. Now tell me students, in periscope, this angle, uh, this law is uh, used, right? Where we use a plane mirror 
and angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. So it is what student it is regular reflection. And if the surface this would not smooth at that time, what we can say that is a diffuse refraction, right? Now see what is law of reflection? Angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. In other word, light gets reflected from a surface at angles it hits it. It will get, if the incident ray will hit, means the angle of incident will be 45 degree, angle of reflection will also be 45 degree. Same as the angle of incident will be there, same the angle of reflection will be there. That is termed as law of reflection. I hope you all have understood the law of reflection. See students, in today's session, I have collected all the basic concepts which will be useful for you in both the classes 9th and 10th. Once you understand this basic concept, you will be very easily, you can understand the next part of each and every, when you are going to learn about the lenses, when you are going to read arms, each and everything. If you will understand this all basic concepts, now you very easily you will get all the higher concept, all the bigger concept which will come in your sessions. Now see students, this angle of incident and angle of reflection both are same. Now, uh, till here, what we have seen in, in colors, students, in colors, we have seen, we have seen what? First, we have seen that colors are made up of students. Colors are made up of seven colors, right? White light consists of seven colors, right? Rainbows are seven colors. What are these? Red, orange, yellow, green blue, indigo, violet, okay. Then we have seen adding colors. So when we add some colors, so we can see of colors, magenta, blue, cyan, yellow, and white light, okay, by adding the primary colors, that is red, blue, and green. Then by, we have seen filters, the, the object which is of colors will filter that color only. If it is of red color, it will filter red color. Then if we are incident some other light to some other colored object, what light will get? Red light will red, but the pan will look black. Blue light will be incident on a blue shirt, it will look blue. But if we will uh, incident on a red shirt, it will look as black. Same here, magenta is consist of red, blue. So it will reflect magenta light, red light and blue light. White light reflects all the seven colors because it, uh, it will it is consist of all the seven colors. Then we have seen filters, students. Then uh, this is for your homework. Then we have seen laws of reflection. Angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. So these all things, students. We have seen today's lectures, starting from properties of light. Light travels in a straight line. It creates shadows. Then numbers of things we have learned today, right? The speed of light is much faster than a sound. After that, we have seen what students, we have seen reflections. And then we have seen different types of mirrors. Then we have seen refractions. Then we have seen lenses with types. Then we have seen colors, filters, and laws of reflection. So these all basic concepts of light, I have... Uh, we have learned today. We have covered the sessions of today. Thank you for enjoying my session, students. I hope you all have enjoyed my session.